little avocado on the side. Oh, Slagness, thank you for the 200 bitties. I think it takes the taste away from food. That's what I'm saying. I, I think you actually fuck up your taste buds when you eat spicy shit. Oh my god! Johnny! With the five gifted subs! I am seven, Frank, Rockley, the real Corn Ramsey, and Grumpy Jesus. Hell yeah, thank you. Thank you! Oh my god! Slagness with the 300 bitties, Gravy with the 100 bitties, the hype train is started! We're just chilling in queue, it's always chilling in queue, we got a hype train, I love it you guys, thank you so much. Two sides of that, insanely hot with no flavor, yeah not enjoyable, but I enjoy really hot things that actually have a good flavor. Dude, I, I want to like hot things. Like, I know that there's so many good things in the world that I haven't tried because it's too spicy. So if you... It, <laughs> stupid. This is the way my brain works. If you eat spicy food that'll fuck up your taste buds, what do you think that spicy food does to your insides and your asshole? Do you ever think of that part of it? <laughs> what happens? What even happens? You have an iron stomach? It does nothing. <laughs> well, it creates a pissing out your butt for two days. <laughs> there you go, Davy Jones. Yeah, my body should be happy. I don't do both. I don't drink and eat spicy food. I only drink. If you ain't sweating, you ain't eating. You're fucking insane. Thank you again, Johnny, for those five gifted subs. Thank you. Slagness! Thank you for the 100 bitties. Keep up the hype. We got three minutes on level two. I got my vodka right here. We can take a shot if we can get that level five. Ruining your insides from eating spicy food, Mr. Psych? Fuck no, Mo. Fuck no, Mo. I would be so fucked up so quick. Natural Joe, thank you for the follow. I'm, I'm too... I've had... Well, this is... I've. Okay, I've had a drink and a half in one shot. Damn. Habanada is a sweet pepper that is essentially a heatless habanero. Wow, I did not know that. Drop a Dorito in the shot? Ew! Spicy food doesn't do anything to you? God, I wish I could eat spicy food. Ma Masquise, thank you for the follow. You give no fucks either? I love to hear it. I love to hear it. So if you cook with a habanero, does it stay just as spicy or does it get spicier or less spicy? What happens with a habanero, I wonder? Oh yeah, it's, I know that the seeds and peppers are usually the spiciest part. My wife got me the Hot Ones 10 Sauce Collection. Oh my god. Nice, Davy Jones. Hell yeah. We got one more one more minute left on this hype train. The bomb? Oh, that one looks spicy. They all look spicy. Who am I kidding? Uh, no. You guys just saw me eat flaming Hot Doritos. Do you think I could do anything spicier than that? Are you fucking crazy? Are you fucking insane? Oh, 
30 seconds. I am number seven in the queue. Oh, number six in the queue. Fuck, I can't stop eating those chips. But I'm not going to because I don't want to have to wash my hands again. Doesn't like spicy. <laughs> the new foxy COVID variant der derived from the depths of the new foxy COVID variant der derived from the depths of Dumb little shit. Hello, hello, hello. Wow. <laughs> I just managed to talk into the mic and then not realizing that I wasn't using the right channel on OBS. Uh, sorry about that, but um, a couple of minutes ago, I had started this stream uh, on Demon Souls and I was explaining myself that. Um, morning session today is actually a PS3 older game. The Demon Soul is a classic um, and I plan to play very possibly the very last playthrough um, in my whole life of the original OG PlayStation 3 Demon Souls. Uh, the reason why it is likely to be my last playthrough in my entire life is because um, I think I'm going to ditch PlayStation uh, as a service provider uh, for games from now on to the end of time uh, because it is uh, just shit uh, in my experience. I'm sure that it is a, 
a good service for you guys out there who who are uh, who claim to be fans of PlayStation of the PlayStation Network. I have no um, hostility towards you. Um, it is a functional uh, surface, but for me, I'm a picky person. I'm a really, really picky. I see flaws a lot of times, and um, the world is vast, right? I, nothing can cater to just one person's wants and needs. I understand, but um, even one person's wants and needs and the points of views could be uh, representative to uh, for many others po po people's points of views and experience as well. So. A single person's opinion is not necessarily just a single person's opinion. It could be a represent representation uh, of uh, many people who are in similar boats or in similar point of views. So, yeah, hear me out. They have updated the security steps, possibly because of uh, the raised amount of like frauds using uh, PlayStation accounts. That one I totally understand. I, I got a, um, I got a transaction uh, that wasn't made by me uh, on PlayStation Network a couple months ago, but it wasn't security issue. It was their website designed it entirely fucking shit. Uh, their logic is wrong uh, in terms of uh, claiming PlayStation Plus titles, the monthly free PlayStation Plus title. Think about this, right? If you want to buy things on PlayStation Network, you from clicking the title to clicking the checkout to clicking the confirmation of the buying, there's a certain um, strain of logic. There are multiple steps of computations from start to finish, right? But on PlayStation Network, uh, the the logic um, of uh, the buying of um, retail titles and the claiming of free titles for PlayStation Plus use the same fucking algorithm. So, there are two entirely different ways of acquiring a title from PlayStation Network, yet they use the same computation logic. All right, think about this language-wise. Buying and claiming are different things, right? So why would these two different activities use the same computation algorithm? Isn't it a way to in invite uh, sentimental, uh, not sentimental, semantic misinterpretation, uh, as well as uh, bugs from one uh, stream of action, just basically uh, present in another uh, stream of action? They are unrelated. They are similar actions, but they are different, right? Similar in terms of players are acquiring titles, but different are the operations. So, I raised an issue to that, and I basically uh, said to a place to network, because of that experience, I am entirely pissed off by that. And I am not interested in continuing my place to plus surface uh, from now on. And in fact, uh, I was on the lookout for buying a PlayStation 5. And because of that, I don't want to purchase PlayStation 5 anymore, disregarding uh, there is a shortage uh, for, for PlayStation 5 units. But anyways, I have stayed in this uh, screen for long. I should actually go stream. Um, yes, I'm gonna change gender. So what is the impact of, um, of that is, um, because of the raised amount of uh, issues complained from purchases, uh, some of them are legit, some of them are because of Sony's designs of their surfaces, and some of them are legit hacking um, activities that cause people uh, concerns uh, when using PlayStation Network. So, um, in the light of that, they raised their security measures, they use QR code scanning, uh, to validate uh, <laughs> accounts, but then my PlayStation Three, my my main PlayStation actually, my main PlayStation account that I want to use in this current region where I live, is from like the era that PlayStation Network was hacked. Some of you watching this stream may be younger than that event, so you might not know, but. 
PlayStation Network got a massive hack. I think when when was it? 2011, something like that, about 10 years ago. Uh, the around May time in 2011, if I remember the year correctly, there was a massive hack of the PlayStation Network, and it caused it uh, two to three days of um, disruption of services. So PlayStation or Sony only got a tap on the wrist for for such fuck ups, and um, at that point. I signed up a um, Hotmail account, which is ended with the domain of ac.uk, but that account is now um, discontinued by Microsoft because they want to push the Outlook ecosystem, right? And even Hotmails, I was lucky. Some of my older emails is still using that uh, Hotmail domain, uh, but it is out of the courtesy of Microsoft. So now with the QR code two-step verification, I can lock back into my PlayStation Network. So effectively, it is locking me out of all my legit purchases associated with this account. So what's the? It, it gives me just way more incentive to not use PlayStation services. I guess it's, it's good for them as well because I am quite likely the outliers uh, who basically hate PlayStation Plus. Uh, from uh, the last few years of experience of using PlayStation Plus. But out there, there would be multiple people who are willing to use PlayStation Plus. Uh, so, yeah, good for them, good for them. You still haven't seen the ugly side of Sony, you haven't seen the ugly side of uh, PlayStation Network. So, um, <laughs> yeah, brace yourself, man, brace yourself. I don't think this is a company that, that innovates uh, at least on the network front, uh, starting from PlayStation 2 era uh, up to PlayStation 4. I don't own a PlayStation 5, so I can say for sure it's unfair if I just trash on PlayStation 5's uh, network surfaces. But, um, yeah, it's just shit in my experience uh, using PlayStation Plus in, uh, in, in the last few years. Think about this, right? If you play games on uh, PC, if you play games on PC. If you want to go on network and play with other people, you can just sign up on, on a server, you can just join a server for free. So it's not a PlayStation Plus or PlayStation Network doing this. Uh, even Xbox, um, the ecosystem of Xbox is doing that as well. So in my book, there isn't much incentive uh, using PlayStation Plus or uh, Xbox uh, Live Go or Xbox, uh, what's the service called? Uh, the the, the, the uh, Play on Demand service, I forgot. I haven't used my Play on Demand service on Xbox <laughs> for so long. But at least Microsoft uh, interpretation or iteration of a uh, pay per month uh, to game service has got the PC sub-ecosystem, right? So, at least I'm getting something out. And and the usage of account is easy. Uh, at least on Microsoft uh, server. So, yeah. The, the comparison is obvious. Uh, I don't have any bias towards, like, the, the experience towards using or playing games, actually. Playing games on Xbox ecosystem or PlayStation ecosystem. But in terms of the ease of uh, account usage, right? Xbox wins by fucking miles. Right, uh, I don't even know why I'm fucking around with the um, with these details because most of the time you don't see the face of your character, anyways. The the thing I want to do possibly is just to change my hair color. Oh, sorry, I forgot to check my. Uh, Chat. Uh, let's change it to more copper red. So, um, I will be attempting to get the platinum trophy on on this character in the very last playthrough of the OG Demon Souls. 
But uh, possibly it will. Uh, the, the trophy we will not be able to get his way uh, onto my uh, account. Anyways, good riddance, because um, I don't plan to use PlayStation or its ecosystem anymore. So effectively, all my digital purchases uh, on PlayStation 4 may be locked out. All my purchases on uh, PlayStation 3 is definitely locked out right now. I will have to go get in touch with the PlayStation Plus service provider and then I will have to <laughs> cross my fingers and hope for the best I could retrieve all my contents. Uh, I will try, I will keep trying to contact um, the Sony people. I will try to be polite. But, um, yeah, you have forever lost a customer. You have forever lost the buying power for me ever for the rest of my life just because Katie you have fucked up your world. ecosystem. You have fucked up your design, Sony. Brought unprecedented prosperity to his northern kingdom of Boletaria. That is until the colorless deep fog swept across the land. Boletaria was cut off from the outside world, and those who dared penetrate the deep fog never returned. But Valorfax of the royal twin fangs broke free from the fog and told the world of Boletaria's plight. I'm going to check on the stream a little bit. That the old king Alant had aroused the old one, the great beast below the nexus, from its eternal slumber, and that a colorless fog had swept in, unleashing terrible demons. The demons hunt down men and claim their souls. Those who lose their souls also lose their minds. The mad attack the same, and chaos reigns. Valorfax spoke of the enticing power of the demon souls. Each time a demon claims a human soul, the demon's own soul is invigorated by the life force. And the power of a mature demon soul is beyond human imagination. The legend spread quickly. Seems to be stable. Mighty warriors were drawn to the accursed land. If my sound is touching the yellow zone on the uh, level indicator, Fiora I should turn up the sound of the game a little bit more. Yurt the Silent Chief. Sage Urbane. Skurber the Wanderer. Right, testing, testing, testing. Uh, my voice at casual volume is about 20 dBs higher than the Elgato's uh, volume, so we should be okay. The colorless deep fog slowly More rants to come. Boletaria's borders. More rants to come about PlayStation. Humankind uh, it's, it's a bit too early for me uh, because I usually the deep fog <laughs> will eventually just got up about now. Near and far. But it is a day off for me, so I decide to get up early. But Boletaria has one final hope. A lone warrior and do something. Who has braved the Doing something fog. is better than just stay in bed. Has the land found its savior? Or have the demons found a new slave? There we go. The classic. The classic man. So yes, I am at a stage that um, trophies still mean something to me, but if the trophy is gated behind such a shitty ecosystem, then why do I want to have my trophy? Brave soul who fears not death. I shall guide you. Oh Jesus, we are going to be in such hardship. Because uh, this character here called the royalty I think is the equivalent to the wasted or the wretched. 
uh, of, the, of the Dark Souls series. Uh, I don't get my terminology correct because <laughs> I don't have a notebook of all the correct terminologies of different uh, Souls games and their equivalents, but uh, it is at Soul Level 1. Let's check our status here. Wow, the graphic is so classic here. Um, yeah, uh, we are at Soul Level 1. Uh, this is basically is untrained and grind character. Um, I guess there is a funny joke in terms of the class royalty there. Uh, maybe the general perception uh, of not the 1% is the royalties are the useless pamper twats uh, who are of low skills, right? So it's equivalent to the uh, wretched or the uh, bareback characters that you can get, uh, untrained characters that you can get in uh, the later soul titles. Right, let's have a look at the status or status here. Oh, even we can do the guide. <sighs> let's pretend that we haven't seen these things before. Oh, Vitality FXPs, item burden you can shoulder. It's slightly different to Elden Ring as well as the Demon uh, Dark Souls. MP capacity, uh, stamina, equipment. Okay, fair enough. Um, we will re-examine it as we go through this game. I just want to get somewhere. So fucking different. Oh, jeez, I forgot. Okay. Alright, we, we are sure to die a lot. We are sure to die a lot. Because I don't have the access to the PlayStation Network, uh, I don't see these like uh, hints that people leave behind. But I definitely have finished this game before. It's just that this game is being set up in such a way that you at least need to have three and a half playthrough to get the um, to get the platinum trophy. <laughs> Not that it is important anymore, but still. I would like to prove to myself that I could totally uh, platinum this title because I like it so much. I love this title. I can like a title on um, on PlayStation exclusive, but I still can hate PlayStation Network, you know? They're independent of the two things. Uh, the two things are independent of each other. Uh, if people think that, oh, are you you're you're a fan, a fan of a PlayStation, or whatever, a fan of uh, let's say Demon Souls. You should like Sony as well. No, I just like the design, the challenge, uh, <laughs> the in jokes of the titles, the community that got spawned from this amazing title. But I don't necessarily like the service provider, or the network provider, or. <laughs> the service provider basically just shafted us uh, for some cost uh, that is not needed. I understand that they have to maintain their clouds, they have to maintain their databases, but look at what they have done to, to account securities or, or the uh, UIs on the, on the PlayStation Network. I mean... Does the cost that we pay justify uh, the quality of their service? I don't think so. Maybe it's a bit subjective in terms of like saying such harsh words. Harsh words. Blah, blah. Harsh words about PlayStation. But I think uh, it's at least a little bit uh, founded. Man, I just want to tell you, I'm not fucking around <laughs> with Demon Souls. I'm a veteran. I may not be the best veteran out there, but I'm still a veteran. Anyways, I am sure to die uh, fighting the next boss because I'm so out of touch. I don't even have any uh, MP recovery items. So what's the game plan next? Uh, we have limited amount of recovery items, seven of them. We have the royal, 
Royal Lotus that clear poison status that we don't <laughs> need. We somehow, let's look at the inventory. Oh, we might, oh, 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 oh. We have this, we have Silver Coronet, uh, which will replenish our MP over time, but it is not going to be enough for our purpose next. So we are going to get fucked. We are going to get fucked by the next demon. Oh, Jesus. The funny thing about this first boss is... It's really not that hard. But the timing... But the timing of evasion and the blocking... It's just difficult. Oh, Jesus, I'm about to sneeze. My morning allergy is, like, horrendous. And we are gonna get fucked up quite badly as well, because uh, the dodge button is X rather than circle. We are going to get wrecked! I mean, this portion is a tutorial, so uh, even if we fucked up, we are not going to lose too much of our health, but still, we are definitely not going to survive the boss. I missed that opportunity because I'm stupid. Come on. Oh, fucking hell, come on. I was going to do a back step. Oh, Jesus. I should do parade, but... Don't want to fuck with that shit yet. What's wrong with me? I should be able to do backstab. There we go. Slightly different, slightly different. And I'm still in my um, classic O way. Uh, if I play out of the ring, I'll be more aggressive. But if I play Demon Souls, because it was the very first Soul game, I got bitten down by this game so much, I basically acquire a second nature here, I basically acquire a mental muscle memory, well, mental memory, or whatever. I develop a habit. I develop a habit of being overly cautious. Should we just parade this fucker? Jesus, my nose is dripping like mad. Come on, dude. I ain't got all day. You can go die die. This is the tutorial portion. So, uh, they are scripted uh, quite hard in terms of uh, having the shoe up all the time for the heavier knights. They're trying to force you into uh, trying the mechanism of this game. Alright, there's some ambush here somewhere, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's clear this area first, before we consider anything else. Oh, Jesus. Good job that I got the wrong button pressed. <laughs> Otherwise, I may get shot. Alright, we are gonna head down the stairs to pick up the stuff. I'm going to play... Mm, I think I'm going for some ridiculous amount of damage in this build. So I'm going for... Oh jeez, I'm going for a luck build. I'm going for a lucky royalty. Why not? Royalty is a waste of skins, right? They are no good, they are no good at start, so... Let's go for the luck. 
that was my original intention in the in the second playthrough in the original Fat Boy PlayStation <laughs> free era. Um, but I never finished that playthrough, never finished that build. So for our very very last playthrough in our whole life ever, let's build a luck based royalty. Oh, that was a fucked up on my part. Okay, let's heal ourselves. I don't think we are going to survive because look at this. Uh, I can have almost a full heal uh, for five times, but then it's not going to help. We can fuck up 13 times, but each time I fuck up, <laughs> it's a lethal fucked up. So I don't know how we are going to survive this. Um, right. Let's blast the fucker with all the uh, magics we can afford. And then maybe, just maybe, we can maneuver as best as we can. So to shift the uh, HP of this uh, boss off bit by bit. Is the name of this demon core steel demon? I can't remember. I still have the uh, original um, first release special edition tin box version of the Demon Souls. Even got the adventure adventurer's booklet. It's fucking almost mint condition, man. But anyways, um. Yep, last play forever. Um, still, we are gonna die to this demon. Let's remember the button press. Let's not lock. Yay! First time. Still okay. What do you want? Not a good look getting stuck in this channel here. Oh, Jesus, fuck. Nearly just got killed just there. Oh my god. This is horrendous. Right. We may be okay. But I can't guarantee, dude. Now I remember why people fucked up so much. I even don't think I have the ability to run. Oh my god. Let's be careful. Let's not fuck up. Oh my god, we may win! We may fucking win! If anything, this game is is a. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it, but it's a high risk, high gain kind of situation. So, this is why I like playing games like this. Um, I used to hate 
this kind of game because it's too grindy. But as I grow up, as my life experience changes, uh, I value uh, games that require people to really use their noggings. Of course, that fight was was nothing. It was nothing, man. But think about this. I've never been to this screen ever. I've never been to this screen ever. What the fuck is this? But yes, um, I like games. Oh, jeez, this one. Oh boy. Oh fucking boy. Um, right. I have some idea of what this is all about. But I want to get used to with the button press because this requires running. And this requires a lot of <laughs> concentration. Uh, oh, right, uh, we will finish this bit first before. Uh, we will finish this bit before I stop gop shiting again. I have no idea where is the next safe place to be. So I might totally get fucked up here. Let's let's ready to get run uh, run away. What is the dragon god doing here? I need to hide behind pillars, otherwise I'm gonna get smacked. Or at least I'm kind of protected here, but I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I might get smacked the fuck out. Oh, okay, okay. Let's look at these fuckers' eye. I think it is red. The demon, uh, the dragon god is red-eyed. So, if possible, it will smack the shit out of me. Wow. I, I guess the world, the universe, is, is treating me quite nicely. Because I have just said I'm going to play the last ever playthrough of Demon Souls. Oh God, we won't be able to we won't be able to come back to this area if we die, unless we start another character and play through this again to to find to discover it. But we have to be careful. This is a classic high and seek game. we be able to talk to the dragon god somehow, or is it just like you grab however much you can before it just fucking smash the shit out of you? Oh god, what is the demon, the dragon god gonna do? This is gonna smash, this angry motherfucker is gonna smash. God, let's let's check is okay. There's no hide and seek mechanism. What in the actual fuck? <laughs> I like it. Well, that concludes your tutorial. Uh, I was, I wasn't even thinking I could dodge it. It's possible, but who knows? Uh, at a certain point, when you play the Souls game, uh, you'll be willing to die just to figure out something. But um, yes, after the tutorial session, you will die, no matter what you do. But I'm glad that on my last ever playthrough, I have to stress that over and over again. <laughs> Just to remind myself, no matter all that shit that is gonna happen in this game, this this playthrough, I'm going to enjoy the fuck out of it. Let strength be granted so the world might be mended. So the world might be mended. So yeah, who needs trophy when a game is enjoyable? Trophy is just some extra addition just so that you can remember what you had achieved in games. So yeah, now I have a change of heart. I this don't need the trophies. It holds together the northern land of Boletaria. 
Although admittedly, Thou can't not exit the Nexus. The PlayStation the Trophy Trine is actually quite tasty. I mean, apart from the PlayStation Network, apart from the uh, design issues, apart from the logic issues, in terms of creativity, uh, Japanese developers are quite great. But when it comes to like networking or or the um, or or the other little bits and bobs of of their UI designs, uh, the, the UI designs are not even bad. It's just that, <laughs> oh my god, when whenever I use it, it's just like dissatisfaction. It's just dissatisfaction. Uh, for me, the the designs could be better. The user experience could be better. The network could be better. The model of how the games are being played can be better. Um, I'll have to collect my thoughts a little bit more, but I'm not saying this thing because I want to blow you gas out of my ass. These things are crystallizations of 30 years of playing of games. A playthrough, PlayStation 2 to 4, and over the free generation of PlayStation I actually own, uh, as well as two generation of PlayStation portable devices I've owned, there has never been extreme wow moments regarding the hardwares or the uh, ecosystem. Games are fine, the games are fine. You're just another prisoner of the Nexus. I mean, even for the software engineers or, or the uh, as long as we keep wonderful geeks who work on the code and the hardware, <laughs> they are not at fault. Uh, I think most situations are the public relationship, are the marketing personnel who are at fault. Uh, at fault. You came for demon souls? Because I or think in this day or age, day and age, it is just easier to smooth over some shortcomings, to keep rolling, to keep earning You're the money, rather than uh, to admit there's something fucked We're up about the design. So, as long as we keep HO problems get sweeped underneath the carpet because <laughs> the people, the PR, the marketing people, uh, who are given disproportionate amount of uh, budget, they can, they have the means and ways to smooth over you issues. For demon so? We're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to annoy the fuck out of these crestfallen night. I'm going to exhaust you all the conversations. For demon souls? <laughs> <We're we> <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think most enterprises, they have their PRs, their, their marketing personals receiving way too large slice of a budget, and, and they end up being the... Um, the effective arm of companies that that high problems rather than uh, admitting and help solve problems. I think this is the way how large corporations deteriorate once they have uh, branched out. I'm stockpiled. When the scourge came, my wife and daughter fell victim to the demons. But I would be worthless in battle. At the very least, I hope to lend my assistance to you brave slayers of demons. I would be happy to lighten your load and look after any excess baggage. Yeah, right. No, actually, he's very handy. Um, he's essential. He is the manager of all the good deeds you get in this game. Rest assured, your goods. Best of luck to you. Oh shit, I forgot to talk to him. When the scourge came, I abandoned my wife and daughter and fled like a madman. When I came to, I was in the Nexus. I haven't dared venture outside these walls since. I wish I could do more, but I am ignorant of the world beyond these walls. That candle maiden cared for me during my first days in the Nexus. She says very little. The poor, poor girl. Trapped here, if only something could... If only... Best of luck to you. Alright, we are going to talk to this moody bastard. Hmm. You're new here? Do you have my services? The name's Baldwin. 
Just an ordinary blacksmith. It's simple. Just bring me all the souls you can. In trade, I'll give you weapons, or forge ones you already have. With your souls, I can eke out a living. And with my weapons, you can go on living. Not a bad deal, huh? I like conversation like this. That reminds me of the original Alice game. Um, our American Majee's Alice. Uh, the Cheshire Cat. The door needs a key which you don't have. That cheeky bastard. <laughs> I still remember that line. Uh, may not be the exact line, but it was cheeky as fuck. So, um... No interest, eh? I can tell you're not gonna lie. Yeah. Everybody die, everybody respawn, everybody will return here. Oh my, has God abandoned us for failing to show proper respect to King Alant? Oh Mbasa. Oh Mbasa, I like this shit. Um, oh Mbasa. Oh Mbasa. Oh Mbasa. Alright, you, you, you need to have high oh, enough faith to get a, um, the, the, the final form of an ore, or, or, or mineral, or, or whatever the chunk that is, Jesus, this terminology. Alright, these are system-generated reminders there, just basically giving people some idea of what to do, what not to do, how not to kill yourself, or how to kill yourself. But I'm checking this area for NPCs. I haven't played this game for long, and I usually just go straight for area 1 after this, well, after talking to the, um, what are their faces? Sandinals? Yeah, I think they are core Sandinals. Uh, there is also an item that you can get for online, but since we are not playing online, then we can forget about it. <laughs> so yes, not being able to go online and have items gated by online servers is the shitty ploy. Think about this, right? Achievement and trophies, they are also shitty because the marketers, the designers, they want to engage you for lo as long as possible. They want your attention because the more them you spend on, on this ecosystem, the more likely you are going to chip in to spend money. So these devices, uh, the trophies, are the carrots that dangles in front of your fucking snout. Let's try to get you to stay for long. Oh, sorry, I need to find the uh, Kendo Maiden before we can get upstairs, I think. But where the fuck is the lady? I want to chat to the girl. Where are you? Oh no, we have to fight. Oh, we have to fight first before we can talk to the Sentinel. Or the better, or the better, because I got a um, meeting at 11. Not a work meeting, but a meeting nonetheless. So that's why I planned for this early bird session. I originally planned to have uh, a session on 11 to 1. Uh, I call it the brunch session, but not good for this week. And I don't think I should start streaming that late, uh, in local time anyway late as in late in the morning uh there are lots of things that are have that are in my mind but yep i got to go to that meeting and then i got other social engagement for the whole day but tonight we are gonna play something different uh you may wonder why the stream on ps3 has a higher um <laughs> has higher quality than my recent streams because I'm using Elgato at least it is capturing um, the video signal is 1080p and I have upped my uh, output resolution to 1080p as well um, it is now broadcasting my stream is now broadcasting as 50 FPS with classic POW um, FPS. If you spend your life in UK for a while, you'll get used to the PAL system, which I think it is superior than the NTSC system, uh, no matter if it is a NTSC U or NTSC U, uh, J. Nope, we don't want to go to Nixus, I just want to activate it, just in case. What? 
Let's play. Oh, I forgot. I forgot how dangerous it can be for noobs. I may hoard the soul levels for a while because I have no earthly idea what I want to uh, put in yet. I mean, for the soul levels. Oh shit! I'm uh, confusing myself with Elden Ring. Elden Ring controls. Plus, I'm a little bit groggy from the early, early session, early, early start. It's quite a dangerous place for royalties. Because this one is a stabbing sword, it is not designed for uh, swinging. So if you miss the initial thing, or if you can't uh, stun lock your component, you might be in trouble. You might be the one to get stun locked. Let's do it! Let's fuck you up! That was a cocky, cocky mistake there. Now that I think about it, the backstab detec area, detection area is way generous in comparison to uh, Elden Rings. But to be honest with you, the parry, the parry detection is uh, in Demon Souls is is way more generous than the Elden Wing parry detection. I don't know why I speak like a um, like a foreigner with with like a heavy accent, but I think it, it is a, it is a problem of me not being able to hear myself. Plus, I have a slight lips issue. I think. Um, the last syllables of my speech often trailed off. Oh god, we should use magic here. I mean, I'm not stubborn in terms of using just physical attack. I, I use royalty for, in, for a reason. I want to be a, a fucking wizard, man. But I, want, I don't want to be a straight-up wizard. I want to be a lucky bitch who can drill bosses with their magical power. I should call this character Magic Bitch. Um. Anyways. Some people may not appreciate him. <laughs> I call it females Magic Bitch. That is a term of endearment. Come on. This is my last ever playthrough if I haven't yet stressed enough. I'm gonna have the best amount of memory about it. I'm going to have the most enjoyable memories. Hopefully you can help making it with me. Let's make this shit together. Anyways, I don't play games for 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 like a living. But it would be nice to have a kind of like spending money income for gadgets for streaming, for new games to try out. So yes, that's why I started uh, started YouTube. I started streaming about seven, or well, not seven, is it was almost like nine years ago. That is basically turning your habit into your earning ability. And I do think everybody should strive to do that. Not striving to be a gamer that is playing on Twitch to earn a living, but figure out something that you like, that you love, that you have passion for, and then turn it into a career, because if you are the working class, well, not grassroots working class that people think, Anyone who is slaving for others is a working class. Just face it. <laughs> so if you've been working for some boss, then you should know, you should know, is a form of slavery. 
is a form of contractual slavery that you were willingly entering in your adulthood. So why not do something that is more enjoyable once you have realized that it is an exploitation of humankind? I'm not begrudged, really, because it is humanity, this is what humans do. We consume, just like other organisms, we consume. But just like how a PlayStation network is set up or how a website is written, right? There are different ways of existing. There are different ways of design. Currently, humans are just choosing the worst possible ways in terms of existence. Well, not the worst, because the worst is yet to come, but relatively ineffective ways of survival is what I'm trying to say. Let's get you fucked up, shall we? Uh, sorry. I seem to have missed you, but I'll get you later. But anyways, I have to actively remind myself that uh, I can't kill any NPCs until <laughs> I really, really want to. Because if you accidentally kill uh, an NPC, it is going to add to the time um, that you need to do a complete playthrough in terms of getting all the... Um, unique items and then the secrets and whatnot with the implication that you won't get 100% platinum uh, unless you do all these. Oh shit. No trouble. Um, we are meant to jump down here but I drop off the uh, ladder so I have to redo the trail. Happy trail. Should we? It's not something important, but... Ah, oh, fuck. I almost said... It is bad because I have to redo that trail. But it turns out that I could just get that. I think I ha might have missed it a sort somewhere, but I'm sure that I'll come back here sometime later. Definitely not a lot. Retracing this part because this is the easy part. Spoke too soon. Spoke too soon again. I forgot how cunty they can be. Right, so basically, to maximize your, your at least first run's enjoyment, you need to <laughs> not die. You need to not die, otherwise you will lose your souls. I don't know if you have done it before, but um, I have once lost 100, uh, 1 million and f 1.4 million souls after the second playthrough. I was like feeling great about beating uh, beating the boss the first time or the second time, and then I was just like, ah, I should be okay to get through this area and kill the very first boss without dying. Yes, which I did. But beyond the first boss, I already got a um, 1.4 1, 1, 1. million and I die on the bridge. I die on the bridge to the Silver Knight. So 1.4 million down the drain. What the fuck? That was painful. That was fucking painful. Right, should we cheese here? Should we just go? F should we just go for the uh, the aim to unlock the boss area? I think we should go there first. We should unlock the box first because uh, King Doran, we can't access it right now. We can't access him right now, and I think the item on that uh, behind that knight is just a full crescent. Is it full crescent? 
Uh, I don't even know the proper name. But yes, it's not quite essential yet. Right, we now got an excuse to check the uh, staircase area. Oh, I forgot to do the brick fall. I tried to show off. I, I, I wanted to show off somewhere. <laughs> but I forgot to press the button to do the brick fall. Can we do the brick fall here? I can't see shit. It's too dark. Zudonka. Zudonka. Dunka. Is it Dunka or Dunka? But anyway, I'm learning like basic German phrases because I like the language. Oh, I nearly killed myself just doing that drop there. I'm really complacent because I feel like I've, I'm a veteran. I feel like I am entitled to, to fuck around with no protection. <laughs> but I should not think like that. Alright, let, let, let's just get up there. Let's just get the Twin Tower. I think that was a time uh, when 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 Demon Souls were released. It was a uh, was it was it Twin Tower? No, I think Twin Tower was was when I was is around 9/11, and when I played Demon Soul. When when did I play Demon Soul? I played Demon Soul when I was in university. So yeah, but the Twin Tower was already out, and when I first got to that part, I was like, oh god, that these two fucking towers I have to conquer. It sounds really, really, like, a serious undertaking, right? <laughs> it was, it was, when when, when, it, when the game first came out. People never experienced such punishment before. I mean, at least for the Western audiences, um, Japanese people are, are more used to playing shit difficult games. I call it shit difficult because it's just an adjective. Uh, I don't want to use fucking difficult. I don't want to use the word cuntingly difficult, okay? Well, think about this, I just. Oh no! Oh, let's fuck. Oh, oh, oh. That was a sad moment. That was a fucking sad moment just now. I should not have fumbled so much. But at least we got one chain. By accident, I believe. Ah, shit. Shitting fuck. This is the first ever time I nearly got trapped that. And I blame uh, the distraction I have on, on doing that stream. Right, let's not fuck around with these guys. Because... They are not difficult, but when you get swarm, it's gonna be troublesome. And there are no explosive uh, barrows for our advantage. At least I can see one here. It's a little bit dark. I think the gamma is a little bit unusual. Uh, when I'm working with OBS, with, with the uh, Elgato, really. But maybe it is the original Gamma. Meant to be like that. Who knows? Cling ring, at least. It will extend our life bar a little bit, which is a welcome help for the upcoming boss fight. I'm uh, still a little bit stupefied by the um, by the different button press. And other issue that I thought about the button press, the fucking button press on PlayStation. They have only changed it a couple of years ago. Uh, the circle and the cross swapping for different cultures uh, to to signify uh, accepting a choice or or removing a choice or backing up a, a choice level 
Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, it took them so fucking long. And it wasn't even a unification, in a sense, of, of standardizing which button does what. So, the trouble originated from uh, the Japanese people. Um, they, they like to use circle and cross differently, uh, as is the other cultures. Uh, apparently, a circle is correct and cross is wrong. Circle is select and cross is um, going back, right? Kenzo. But in Europe, or American cultures, European or American cultures, people are used to using the arrow to signify, uh, not arrow, I'm thinking about the cross, it's the arrow's back, when you see it in, in the back side of the arrow. They, they like to use the cross as like, I am marking my target, this is the shots that I took on the target, this is the cross, right? So, US, UK people, European people may be more used to using the cross to select, while Japanese people, if you see the game show, right, they often use circle to choose the answers, to choose the choice. So here is the the, the, <laughs> the culture difference that drive the um, drive the issue here. Well, it's, it's, it's just people being human, but it took them so fucking long um, to, to finally give people the choice to, to select which button is for which intention, right? It took them so fucking long. It seems that they, 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 they on the surface, this is a Japanese company that, that is like selling people the idea of like customer service and understanding of, of their customers. But in the execution level, they, are, they, they, they never, they hardly ever take in the people's voice and adjust the system accordingly, right? Even after PlayStation got hacked, and there were like security experts. Well, we should not trust experts too much uh, just because their title is core expert. But at least people who are in the business, right? Penetration testing. They knew there is some issue with PlayStation Network as well as how users' data are being stored on the database. And they haven't really fully revealed, or even after the hack, they haven't even grabbed that opportunity to 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 redesign the whole system. I know they have to do My business, but brave fucking hell, man! If you don't do it, when are you going to do it, right? There's never gonna be a fucking chance to do it if you don't start doing it, right? There's never gonna be a chance for people to finish a project if they if they don't start doing it. Start picking the first step. So that this is what pisses me off. It feels like this is a Japanese corporation. On the surface, they try to let get people to buy in to believing that they are the shit. They are going to take care of you. Your money, when you spend on them, is gonna worth it. But in the end, it's just subpar. It's just going to leave a fucking bad taste in your mouth. I know it sounds all dramatized, but if you have been on on PlayStation 2 to 4 and witnessed their shitty changes of no change over the years, marginal shitty changes over the years, then you will understand why I am pissed off. Okay? Now I must go. There is something for me. Oh, that fucker did not give me the. Uh, I uh, did not talk to him when I first dropped down, so I. Oh shit, did I miss something? Did I miss some item because of that? For fuck's sake. Because I feel like we should be getting the spy glass. Not that the spy glass is fucking essential, but it'd be nice. But anyways, that is my two cents about my experience using PlayStation Network. And at the start of the stream, I briefly mentioned that I end up having a... Uh, I had a transaction that I did not make on PlayStation Network. And after that, I really have lost interest in using PlayStation services um, forever, ever. Uh, that that description of how uh, their website is like subpar is is just like is an example I want to use. Think about this, right? 
you can have good design, you can have good visual design, you could have good visual design that adhere to current day and age of UX expectation. But underneath the skin, the veneer, it could still be a rotten core, you know? I wouldn't go as far as, as it is a truly, truly rotten core that is like necrosis and it's just like disgusting, right? But still, it is not in its best form. And what are you gonna do about it, Sony? What the fuck are you gonna do about it? Especially when um, they had a publicity stunt uh, possibly a year back when they had got the balls to want to discontinue the PlayStation 3 stores, right? People pay good money for the digital copies of items and you now have the gore to stop that fucking PlayStation Network surface, so that they can't access those, like, digital purchases? What? What are you trying to sell us? Are you trying to fucking... push people to, to adopt the PlayStation 5 system, which you don't have stock for? Or push people over to PlayStation 4? Right? The businesses... Like Japanese culture, they, they claim that they like their 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 like crafts, no right? No matter how old it is, it's part of your lineage. Is there a single sane person left in Bolivar? Then why can't this fucking company actually take care of people who spend no good money on earlier iteration of your system that was there, there along a the way? Person left in despite your shitty growth, right? No matter, is there? This is such a shit customer experience, especially for people who have been using uh, Sony's system for like three generations. How many years was that? I own a silver PlayStation 2, I own a black PlayStation Slim, I own three, four PlayStation 3s, including the original fucking fat PS3 60 gig European version. I own two PlayStation 4s, one of them is fucked up as a as a mm, as a first as first press PlayStation 4. Jesus fucking Christ, you can see the hardware you can see the hardware reliability go down over the years. It's not like the original PlayStation 1 is is uh, perfect. It has the issue with the CD reading mount easily snap off after repeated use, but still. Fucking hell, man. What the fuck have you done to your company? And over the years, they haven't really get on with the trend with the networking anyways. PlayStation 2 had the fucking LAN port, but how many online titles have you played on the fucking PlayStation 2? The only one that I spent, well, not only one, but the, there were only two games that I spent substantial amount of time on PlayStation 2. Actually not, there's just one online game that I played. <laughs> what was it? Uh, was it Metro Gear? It wasn't Metro Gear, it was... It was, um, Fantasy Star Universe. That game was quite fun, but and it, it was quite quite a fun network game. But once again, it seems like Japanese software development company is just like anything else anywhere else around the world. Once they got the money off you, they they're just gonna fuck off. They don't care. Oh shit! Almost die. fucking around with the uh, archer in my bag. It's quite dark on my screen to, to remember where the final archer is, so I don't want to risk it. Ah, shit. It's funny that falling that fall with incomplete health, partial health, NPC survives! And I likely would not survive at that fall. I don't think I've got good dexterity to, to brick fall like this. Uh. 
Right, I, I have been percolating, right? <laughs> I have been like brewing ideas in my mind, and I just want to get it off my chest. So, people may come back as, uh, how come you you are just like discarding like PlayStation uh, ecosystem or stop supporting it? Jesus, I haven't signed a contract. I don't have no legal obligation uh, to maintain PlayStation or to be a fan of PlayStation. I have no obligation like that. And we are practically, essentially, we are stockholders of PlayStation because we buy the hardwares, we, we spend time, we spend a life on the platforms. Even though we are not real, real uh, stockholder per se, we have a stake in this company. And our experience kind of matter because if you want to earn my dolo, you better not fuck up. You better not fuck up. You better listen to to the feedbacks of your patrons, but not patronize them. Okay. The fucking use uh, surface providers in 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 my region, when I had the uh, wrong purchase issue. They did not even get into contact with me, they just sent me a, a user survey as if the matter is closed. To this day, I still don't know if my issue has been resolved. What the fuck, man? What kind of customer service is this? What in the living shit? I don't think anywhere around the world in this day and age would accept this kind of shitty service. It's not like we are entitled per se, but as I said before, we spend great amount of money on getting shit on PlayStation. And by saying getting shit is literal shit, we are getting shit on. We are getting shat on, not shit on, but anyways, you know what I meant. Right. This may be a serious issue here, because we need to go for a mad dash. We may be a little bit luckier this time because we are using royalty. I wasn't even strategically playing against these like NPCs. I was just like bashing, just just like bashing it without even thinking about it. One thing is is really dark. Uh, secondly, I'm planning about my rant. I'm forming words in my noggings. Oh, fuck off you little shit. Their AIs are not bad, even in that rushing formations. The, the NPC with lower uh, HP uh, want to become the human shield for his buddy. Alright, come on. Burn these motherfuckers. Burn these motherfuckers down. Alright. Yeah, motherfuckers. Right, we get a reprieve. But now we have triggered the dragon to be here, so... We should reset it a little. I don't know fully of the mechanism, but apparently it is a 5-0 choice that you can do here. Get the motherfucker to panic to come back here. I should be able to get the others, but I don't want to risk it. Alright, I want full health. Because this is gonna be an epic run. Is do or die here. Is do or fucking die. I'm not shitting here. I shit you not.
This is what we want to do. But then still, I'll have to phase the two NPCs here. I don't know if they are going to drift towards here. And the usage of the Falchion... Falchion, I don't even know the pronunciation of that, may not be such a good choice. So let's change it back to our uh, male breaker. We weren't using the male breaker first. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, fuck. Usually I'm okay, it's just that I'm using a waste of skin, so... <laughs> The damage is gonna be horrendous. Uh, we will be ambushed. We will be ambushed. That was the original intention of having these two runs there. To push you down this corridor so that you can get fucked. Could you fuck off? He's up shit. These trash mobs sometimes do get on my nerves, really. They are still deadly, but uh, when when you want to really quickly get somewhere, uh, they can be really annoying. Alright, I'm not fucking around here. Gator ain't play no shit. Oh, fuck off! I marked the target. Oh, I mean, it's pretty OP uh, using <laughs> royalty because the coronet is going to replenish my um, my MP. So as l as long as I'm not going crazy in terms of spamming my magic attacks, uh, my magic attack on this character is going to be a great utility. You ain't no pile of an NPC. Right, the descendant of death. Because we have these motherfuckers and we will have the foulings to play with. Gamma is something <laughs> undesirable here, but I feel like it is actually not bad because think about this, right? It's meant to be challenging and meant to be difficult. You're supposed to check your environment. Oh no, 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 no. It almost threw his spear. I'll be in dipshit. I would have been in dipshit. Oh, no, 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 I remember you could get stabbed as well in the back just because you are being too casual with this cunt here. Four steps, four steps in the softy, softy back. Um, so when we fight the next boss, it's going to be interesting. Remember, I don't see shit, it's too dark. This little tar ball is blended into to the background really well. I guess I'm not going to fuck around with the gamma because uh, the extra darkness is, is uh, good for, is a good challenge. Oh, we got 26 half moon grass, which is pretty cool. Uh, we are gonna survive. We are definitely gonna survive as long as we don't get greedy. Uh, bear in mind, though, I am likely to finish the stream just a little bit beyond this boss. As I said before, I got an 11 o'clock meeting. Oh, 
fucking out. Is stuttering like crazy. I think you sure is okay. I don't know if my uh, slim PS2, <laughs> PS3 is like struggling for whatever reason. It should not be because usually it's fine. Even with a uh, high load like this. But I might be wrong. Look at that! You can just spam magic. And then you can just have a little break and then come back and use physical attacks. I'm not being economic here, I could have just tapped everybody with just one shot of the magic attack and then just run up and stab them in the back. But as I said before, this is high risk. As demonstrated just now. They can launch their spears at you. These fuckers. I actually like the low, low light condition now because is, as I said, way more challenging. Also, think about this. It's almost like a cross-genre boss battle. <laughs> it feels more like a... Uh, a introductory boss battle in, in some of the shooting games. You get swarmed. You get some slowly moving opponents throwing shit at you so that you can get the rope. You can learn the rope of the mechanism of the game. Alright, let's... Uh, not a good choice here. Uh, oh, my fuck. Why I do this the hard way or disgusting way is just because... I want to kill everything. Plus, there may be a chance of me dropping a hoplite, uh, hoplite shield or hoplite spear, I can't remember, is one of the unique items. But with uh, such a low item discovery, I don't think I'm gonna get it. We will be extremely lucky if we get it in the first try! Oh god, almost get stabbed. I was being retarded. Before this boss fight, I should have ch changed it to my curved sword. That would have made my life way easier. I mean, it still needs to take four swings to kill each of them, but at least it's faster and uh, there is a potential of hitting more than one enemy at, at one time. Oh, I can't do a speed change here. Can I do a speed change somewhere else? Let's do a speed change behind this pillar, if we are not swarmed yet. I'm still getting really uh, disoriented. Put the button press. Discombobulate! <laughs> I think I'm actually quite lucky here because I fully expect with my um, with my shitty stats I would be uh, rub off at least half a bar of HP. Maybe it's because I wasn't using the witch outfit. I would have. Uh, I would guess that the witch outfit that we pick up early on would have a low defense rating. Currently relying on the autofocus too much. so dark, I, I can just barely see the spear tip of these motherfuckers.
Well, you can throw shit at me, and so can I throw shit at you. You guys are destined to die. Gonna bomb the living shit out of you fuckers. You can use the strong attack, that kind of hook around, uh, to, to hit these fuckers in a soft way, but as I said before, it's too dark for me to do that. I can't see shit. A second I could have just did it row it out of the way row out of the fucking way I was half expecting it could happen because it would normally happen Stone, no hot light. That's why I want to build a uh, luck build. I want to uh, shorten the time needed to get every weapons in this game. I think I did it in my very first, very, 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 very first character, but I did not manage to do um, do that feat in subsequent playthroughs. God knows how many hours people have spent to um, get platinum for all versions of, <laughs> of Demon Souls. That is insane amount of dedication. I was well on my way to get all trophies. Uh, I got the EU version, which I'm playing right now. I got the US version from my US subscription of PlayStation Network. I think I've got an Asian version somewhere. Maybe I wasn't even planning to have like uh, four platinum or three platinum trophy of uh, Demon Zoes, but I was at least aiming to have two. Ah, you little fuck. There you go. Let's see if we can make these boss bleed. I'm sure there is some symbolism to this fucking thing here. This is showing what the demons really are. They have a core on the inside. They have all these souls condensed on the inside. For me, it already reminds me it is almost like a baby version or a gist version of the final boss that you need to lull. Look at them brambles, right? So are uh, the mythos of Demon Souls or the Dark Souls uh, universe is just like... You can say it's deep, but to be honest with you, have they ever explained the lore to you? But, um... Souls games are well known to uh, leave, leave the interpretation um, as a responsibility for the players. It's a responsi bleh, it's the responsibility of the players to interpret the games. Some may say it is a lazy design, but uh, I guess it's paired with the premise of this game quite well, because it's, it's heavy explo exploration here. Because you really have to be careful. You really have to be fucking careful. 
which leads to uh, people trying to uh, carefully discover um, areas and and in the in, in doing so they would discover secrets and they the secrets and the experience and the hardship they have experienced when getting to those items or secret areas is going to forever sear the experience in people's mind ah uh, motherfucker I want to talk to the prince look at me again surrounded by evil warriors could you perhaps help me one last time bitch you did not give me your fucking item the end of this passage if it pleases the lord's path just down yonder has degenerated into a feeding ground for flying dragons have your wits about you thank you for the uh, info can i talk to you one more time no i can't so the next time i talk to him is uh, when i free him of this prison underneath the bridge he is just one of the uh, nobilities in Boletaria. He's, I think he's a prince. Uh, I was making a, a connection that he and I are both royalties in this setting. And both of us are pretty useless without our weapons and armor. Let's kill all these light phalanx. Because they were the cunt back in the days. At least in this area. What? Frivolous use of swear word? <laughs> this is an addo channel, come on, man. Come on, man. We are all addos. One of the functions of playing game is to blow up steam. And these games... Oh, shit. This game I'm playing, it has violence, it's blood, it has gore. It is a consumption of human being. And you have been warned. This is an 18 plus channel. So yeah, I'm gonna blow up some steam here, although sometimes I swear too much, I'm aware of that. But we are here to enjoy a game. And also the emotion, the rise and falls of emotion playing the game. Of course, how, how you manage your emotion is, 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 uh, is your own volition, is your own discretion, but... There used to be a time that I got so pissed off playing uh, Demon Souls because of the challenges of all the stupid deaths that, that you incur to your own self. It really is your fucking fault, right? And of course, it's the insidiousness of the design, but yeah, if you die, it's because you did not gauge the uh, situation well enough. Alright, I'm going to wait for the dragon to fly over here, but I want to demonstrate that this is official queue where people start to get burned into a crypts. Oh, I almost got myself burned into a crypts as well. I think there was a uh, issue with the game, because usually you see that dragon um, fly and swoop down, just like now. But I think it was struggling to even show that uh, dragon's polygons just a moment ago. So let's head back, let's head back to the Nixus. Uh, we are pretty much done here. I think I got a uh, message from from the meeting guy. So I should uh, get myself ready. Uh, before that, we head back to Nixus. It could be because of the, the, the stream that caused some visual stuttery, I don't know. Because Elgato is taking in the video from PS3 and feed it to my monitor, but it also feed it to the computer for processing. I would still say it is quite a good implementation despite uh, the possibility of the momentary sh slowdowns. Alright. I think in my original PlayStation 3, <laughs> um, the most loaded disc would be this, would be Demon's Souls. Mm -hmm. 
The monumental awaits the above. Monumental, not the sentinel. They take the roles of sentinels, of the fabrics of time and space, but they are monumental. The monumental will explain the nexus to thee. Right, I will leave the chit chat with the NPC later on. Uh, <laughs> chit chat. Uh, but anyways, I am going to lock out. Um, despite the slightly later start here, I think we have somewhat a good stream here. I will examine the uh, video quality and the sound delay uh, because what's it called? Elgato has a 650 millisecond of delay. Um, I don't think they have such delay when, when you use the PCI version, uh, the internal card version. But uh, I am using the very OG version of the hardware, so it has that classic 650 millisecond delay. So, um, if I did not set up this stream correctly, um, the way that I press the button and I comment about my button presses would be of slight outsync. I hope that is not the case. Then, may I ask you, would you mind? So, I'm just going to do a quick recap of um, Stockpile Dude here. Uh, Stop how Thomas, I remember his name. Uh, the jade hair ornament belongs to uh, his kid, but basically he, he is regretting him being a coward. When, when the fog came, he left his wife and daughter to their own demise. So this will be a thing to give it back to him. And it is of good karma as well. I think it also has a certain deterministic effect in, in later game as well. You're a saint. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, it's not much. I'm a bit ashamed to say, but I found it one day. But it seems to... Anyway, I feel that you... Just so you know, I found this shit the other day. But anyways, that, that should... Uh, that serve as a reward for people who have beaten the boss. Maybe they've went through the tribulations of fighting the boss the first time. Uh, but the next thing to do, you can't even update or upgrade your characters yet because you need to unlock such a function after talking to the Monumento, which is on the very top of this fucking building. Uh, we're gonna continue with that bit uh, in the next session, but um, this evening I am likely to play Daisy. I am still not determined yet. As I said before, I play an uh, interesting and intriguing game. And there are definitely so many backlogs I have on PS3 at least, and also on PS4 that I need to finish before a certain deadline. Uh, I will talk about why I have certain deadline maybe in the future, but um, yes, current motif is play a bit of Daisy, uh, play a bit of Reforger if it becomes more stable, uh, but the main focus is I want to play them backlogs. So thank you for sticking around, this is already a most time for me to wrap up, so I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.